Captain Holmes, you have, I believe, prepared the Admiral's evidence. Indeed, sir, and I shall, if I may, remain in court in case I can be of any assistance in clarifying matters. My Lord, without further ado, I call Captain Turner to the stand. Captain Turner, you were given strict instructions to steer a mid-channel course, were you not? Yes, but first I had to find... And yet when the torpedo hit, you were just a few miles from shore. We'd come in close because I needed a bearing on our position. You disobeyed orders. Uh, there'd been a fog earlier. I needed... You willfully disobeyed your strict orders from the Admiralty. In doing so, Captain Turner, you were inviting disaster. Were you not? The Admiralty's broadside was relentless. Our traumatized captain was questioned about instructions he couldn't remember, because in truth, he had never been sent them. Hard day for you, sir. But you stuck to your guns. I'm beginning to think it doesn't matter much what I say. Seems like they've already made up their minds. Sir, that officer from the Admiralty who interviewed me... What about him? He told me it would help the inquiry if I told them I'd seen at least two torpedoes. Even three. The more the merrier, he said. They're not interested in the truth. This is what happens in war. Everybody gets their hands very dirty, very quickly. Lord Mersey, might I ask what impression the captain made on you today? My impression is a perfectly straight and honest man. No shred of evidence to suggest that he's in the pay of the Germans. I think the Admiralty has been quite improper to suggest it. Are you minded then to judge the man simply incompetent? Captain Holmes, you made it very clear to me what the Admiralty wishes the findings of this independent inquiry to be. However, my duty is to see that the truth prevails. And to me, he seems to have been a very good captain. But... In wartime, my lord, there are things more important than the truth. In wartime, my lord, the survival of the nation as a whole becomes paramount. Any hint of discredit to the Admiralty could lose us important friends among the neutral countries. Do you understand? Are you suggesting that I declare an innocent man guilty? I'm suggesting, my lord, that you find a way to conclude this inquiry without damaging our chances of winning the war. What will happen, sir, if they find you guilty? God knows. At best, stripped of my ticket and kicked out. At worst, tried for treason and hanged, or shot. I don't know what they do these days. Whatever's cheapest, I expect. All rise! Conclusions of this inquiry are as follows. That the Admiralty diligently and fully advised the captain of the Lusitania of the route best calculated to avert peril. And that Captain Turner was a competent man who did his best in difficult and perilous circumstances. The Commission therefore finds that the loss of the Lusitania was due solely 
to the damage caused by two, possibly three, torpedoes fired by one or more submarines of German nationality. It was a deliberate attempt to murder the passengers on board. And the entire blame for this cruel destruction of life must rest with them. All right. It all had the feeling of a charade being played out for the press, with the real questions left unanswered. Was the ship deliberately left exposed in order to bring America into the war? We we'll never know. The Admiralty did an excellent job of covering its tracks. Years later, Churchill wrote, In spite of all its horror, we must regard the sinking of the Lusitania as an event most important and favorable to the Allies. Although two years were to pass before the United States declared war on Germany, the poor babies who perished in the ocean struck a blow at German power more deadly than could have been achieved by the sacrifice of a hundred thousand fighting men.